If you're not living under a rock, you've probably heard all the buzz around ChatGPT, even if you have not used it yet. ChatGPT is a chatbot created by OpenAI that was released in November 2022 and just within a few months became a global phenomenon and within the first five days reached 1 million users. Just for comparison, it took Instagram two and a half months to reach their 1 million users and Facebook, Twitter and Netflix even longer. ChatGPT generates answers to various questions, writes articles, essays, emails for you and even programming code fixes mistakes in the existing code, and so much more. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can start using ChatGPT to your advantage to save time and effort, but more importantly, what mistakes to avoid while using the OpenAI bot. But before we get to that, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way. Everything that I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. All right, now let's get started and create your ChatGPT account so you can start using it to your advantage. First thing that you need to do is just to type in your browser chat.openai.com or just use the link in the description of this video to go to the sign up page. To start using ChatGPT, you will need an account at OpenAI. So simply click sign up button, enter your email address, click continue, choose a password for your account, and after verifying your email address and phone number, you're ready to go. Right now, ChatGPT is free, but OpenAI has already announced a paid plan called ChatGPT Plus for $20 per month, providing subscribers with general access to ChatGPT even during peak times, faster response times, and priority access to new features. The free access, though, will still be available. Once you log into your account, you see a simple dashboard like this, showing you the capabilities and also limitations of ChatGPT. And already from here, you can start your first chat and ask the first question. For example, what is a side hustle? And here you go, the ChatGPT generates an answer for you. If you're not fully satisfied with the response, you can also click Regenerate response and ChatGPT will provide you with a different output. You can also edit your input, change the title of the chat by clicking on the icon here, delete the chat or clear all conversations with the chat. Overall, I think it's quite straightforward, but I want to show you another way to access the chatbot functionality that allows more customization. If you go to beta.openai.com slash playground, you will see what I'm talking about. First of all, you can choose the AI model here, and while the text DaVinci 003 is the newest one and the one that ChatGPT is currently using, you can explore other models and their strengths. In addition to that, you can also increase the maximum length of the output that you receive from the bot. Of course, you can do it differently and just ask the bot to write you a longer output. For example, write me an up to 1000 word article about affiliate marketing and the bot will generate a longer output. Or you can just use the manual controls in the playground and increase the length this way. But the most useful feature of the playground is the possibility to load presets. These presets can be a great starting point to explore the chatbot functionality. If you want to discover even more presets, you can go to examples here and see other examples of the ChatGPT application, like extracting keywords from the text. Now that you know how you can start using ChatGPT, let's talk about the limitations it has. First and foremost, ChatGPT has limited knowledge of the world and events after 2021. Therefore, when you ask a time-sensitive question, there is a high chance that you get a wrong reply. For example, ChatGPT doesn't know that Elon Musk is a CEO of Twitter. Second, ChatGPT sometimes writes plausible-sounding but incorrect answers and may produce harmful instructions of biased content. The developers are trying to solve this problem by blocking certain types of content, but it's still work in progress. Third, ChatGPT is sensitive to phrasing. That means, given one phrasing of a question, it can claim to not know the answer, but if you rephrase the question slightly, basically ask the same thing but in other words, ChatGPT can answer correctly. 
And last but not least, if you ask ChatGPT to write an article or an essay for you, the content it provides you with may not be unique, as ChatGPT doesn't really create the content, it compiles it from pieces of information available to it. But even with those limitations, ChatGPT is a powerful tool and a huge game changer. It's definitely here to stay. But if you're going to use it to save time and effort, make sure you avoid these three mistakes that will derail most users. So mistake number one is not proofreading. The content provided by the chatbot may sound good when you skim through it, and it's easy to fall into the trap of just using it as it is. So if you already saved time creating something using ChatGPT, take 10-15 minutes to really proofread the text. Mistake number two is not fact-checking. As mentioned before, ChatGPT doesn't have knowledge of the world and events after 2021 and also may provide faulty information. That's why you absolutely need to check the facts in the text that you got from the chatbot. And last but not least, mistake number three is not checking for plagiarism. You probably wouldn't want to be accused by someone for copying their work. That's why don't over-rely on the chatbot and double-check if anything you create with ChatGPT is not plagiarized. All right, that's it for today. I will definitely make more videos about ChatGPT in the future, showing how to use it for your business and as a tool to make money. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to not miss out on the future content. And if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Bye-bye.